and hi guys hi there how are all of you i hope you are fine well my name is yusuf and i'm back and i'm back on yusuf reacts well guys today i'm back again with a very interesting movie review for you people well the movie that i'm going to be talking about is something that i would say this thing up that's now not uh, a new movie but it's going to be something that has now been a talk of the town and it has been there for i would say a long time now it came out back in 2017 then another version of it came out in 2019 and uh, when we talk about both the particular movies the movie actually that i'm going to be discussing today is going to be justice league Now Justice League in itself was a movie by Warner Brothers and when we talk about this particular movie this particular movie had a lot of hype that was eventually created and because of Zack Snyder even being a part of it that was also something that even had a lot of things that were attached to it due to some personal issues Zack Snyder could not continue and then we came across with the Whedon cut Now the thing which tried to happen was this that uh, in the theaters we guys eventually went and we saw the Vitans cut but that movie did not have such a huge impact Now talking about this particular movie if we you know just sum it up or if we just talk about it it contained all the particular superheroes that were there like we start off uh, with the uh, you know Superman then we move on with batman we move on to wonder woman we move on to like aquaman we even talk about the flash and we even talk about uh, victor in other words uh, we even talk about uh, you know the stephen wolf and his character over there and we had no side of uh, dark knight dark side or anything like that So if we talk about the particular Whedon cut uh, that movie was uh, nice there were a lot of differences that he eventually tend to make in it those differences were not appreciated by the audience the purpose of the reason being what that that movie was shrinked up and uh, shrinking it up Whedon was unable to deliver what the audience really wanted out of it Now after the movie came out it was not such a huge success at all it just did uh, you know normal a uh, kind of a budget that was attained by the movie so there were a lot of criticism yet again on Warner Brothers and stuff like that but the fans they were again and again uh, rooting and chanting for the Zack Snyder's cut now this is something that put them in a dilemma Warner Brothers that they had to come up to a decision decision of what sort they had to come up to a decision whether they're going to release his cut or not and how the things are eventually going to go along and uh, this debate eventually went along along and after a very long time we eventually came to know that yes they have decided that they will go with it and uh, they did not give it a theatrical release but at the uh, on the other way around they gave it an a uh, premiere sort of a thing that tend to happen on HBO Max That movie was a quite lengthy movie and uh, covered up around about like 5 hours almost and uh, even when we talk about it each and everything that was there in that movie was just exceptional people rooting for Zack Snyder's one they really got what they wanted each and every story was so well knit you guys could really get the glimpse of it Eventually what happened at Zack Snyder's cut proved out to be really exceptional and people just loved it. Over here if we talk about the analysis of this particular movie if we see what this movie was all about we can clearly see what in this particular movie starting off from the top the most iconic character that I feel had been introduced was uh, Dark Side. Dark Side's appearance his presence that could be seen in the movie then bringing or resurrecting superman from the dead after batman versus superman we saw that superman is no more having him resurrected because of the fact that without the support of superman they guys or the people who are there especially the all the superheroes that are there they can't do anything So here bringing him back was again something that was really exceptional. And then moving on with it, how Batman eventually is able to form that team 
that is required that's again something that is really good we talk about the other thing around and if we move on with it we can clearly see this thing up that Ben Affleck had a lot to offer and Ben Affleck when we talk about it he really had a lot to offer as Batman and that is something that was really really cool up so we've talked about Barry Allen his story was eventually again over there in the start of it we had nothing to cope up with it because we knew nothing about it over here we see a complete glimpse of Iris West we see how he saves her and so on like that and that was actually something that he had planned because he wanted to knit a story in this way that all the particular sequels are interconnected with it up Aquaman his appearance and uh, the way he you know eventually did not want to be the king but eventually then he comes back and so on so this is how things were Batman even struggling with his own particular issues that are there so this is how the story eventually went along now moving on with what the whole thing eventually is about the whole thing that is there is this thing up that if we see then Zack Snyder's Justice League was something that was really a remarkable piece of work why am I saying that that's a remarkable piece of work because of the fact each and every detail that was there was very well shot it was really well delivered although that Whedon was unable to you know chop those things down or edit those things down he eventually you know had the audience just lose because of the fact that he could not retain their attention why was he unable to retain their attention because of the fact he could not do it basically the thing that i have felt over here is what that dc and marvel if we compare both these you know organization with each other the only problem that i feel is what the only problem that i feel is this that marvel is ready to take the risk they have such kind of people who eventually want to convey it and the ones who eventually are making such kinds of movies they eventually not only want the audience retention but at the same time they themselves are fan or fond of those characters when we talk about dc it's more about you know getting the job done than living that character up and having that personify what you also think about it it's very simple if you're not going to be interested in something if you're not going to be fond of something if you don't want to talk about something you yourself will never be getting yourself indulged into something as far as you know warner brothers are concerned and especially the dc franchise is concerned we clearly can come to know this thing up that dc really needs to have that cushion they need to provide the people who are working for them that extra edge that is there because that is what is lacking unfortunately they are so much in you know the shell that they are more concerned about the failure than the success and when you put failure as your first priority and success comes afterwards that is something when you don't or you don't want to risk it you don't want to experiment and that is how the things are going on this is the reason why we eventually don't see any cool happening that used to be there talking about the most iconic characters that were there if i remember when christopher reeves used to play superman that was really something and there was no other superhero who could even come close to that character but what has happened now superman is not that character he's unable to portray it because of the fact he's not given that confidence at all now even if we look about the current rumors that are there we can clearly witness this thing up that now james gunn who has taken over he's again put henry cavill out of it he feels that henry cavill is not the most suitable guy for it then why did you even choose him beforehand you guys should be the ones who should retain a particular character and give that character confidence that yes you are going to go ahead with this like we saw in iron man like he moved on we see in avengers they moved on that's how the things are when you see that there are replacements going to be all around even with batman we saw it ben affleck was not sure about it because robert batson had replaced him up in the recent upcoming batman so this is the thing that dc really needs to figure out all in all the thing that i really want to talk about is this that zack snyder's justice league was really a treat to watch a really cinematic experience that was there fabulous means each and everything that was there was just phenomenal the story was really well knit all the particular characters and all those scenes 
that had not been a part of the Whedon's cut, really they added a lot into it. Anyhow guys, all in all, I hope you guys liked my review. This was a slight reaction that I wanted to convey and wanted to give on uh, Justice League because of the fact that uh, I really wanted to talk about it. So I hope you guys liked it. I want you guys to subscribe to the channel. Do give your likes, comment on it and do share my videos as much as you guys can. This is me Yusuf saying goodbye to you people. Thank you very much for your time guys. Take care. Bye.